What is going on today guys, Tomcat here, and today we need to talk about Midnight Club again. Because we did a couple of videos on Midnight Club and the leaks around it and the rumors around it and then what was found out to be fake around the whole thing. And if you haven't seen those videos, I recommend watching those before you watch this video because we're going to reference those videos a lot in this video um, as far as the talking points go uh, and things like that. So again, if you haven't watched those, go check them out and then come back here, you'll be up to speed. So... The Midnight Club leaks. Um, the f the first couple of leaks um, that didn't include the Chevy were, I would say, like I said, more, you know, more believable. And then the Chevy was found to be fake and it was faked by a person on a forum that literally wanted to see how easy it would be to fake stuff. So that's the whole deal with that. Now... We haven't really seen any more uh, major leaks around the game itself, um, but what there, what we have seen is some speculation around the possibility that, and I personally, I really hope it doesn't go this way, but there is speculation around around it being maybe hinting at a mobile game. But the thing is, there's a problem with that. The leaked, quote-unquote leaked screenshots that we saw were based on Xbox anyway. They, they, you could clearly see the Xbox A button, you had Xbox, um, like a game screen icon. So I feel like that kind of puts the, puts the whole mobile idea out. However, however, maybe not necessarily because... I mean, not necessarily because things can, you know, things can be doctored and photoshopped and things like that, but genuinely, I think the first, like, the shot with the, the title screen shot with the Mustang, and then the, the Icon and the shot with the R34 GTR, those are still believable to me. Like, in my mind, those are still, uh, those are still believable. The Chevy, obviously, I mean, dude, the Chevy obviously is, 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 like, no, you know, no freaking way. No freaking way. But to also talk about something, um, something here that somebody mentioned on Reddit, um, there's a, if, if, if this game does end up coming out and does end up becoming a thing, there's a few things that it's gonna need to have, you know what I mean? There's a few things that it's gonna need to have in order to carry that torch, if you will, of the Midnight Club series, and it's gonna have to have it's going to have to have customization to rival Forza and Need for Speed. Like, Forza and Need for Speed, it's going to have to rival them heavily in customization. It's also going to need a certain atmosphere that you only get in a Midnight Club game. That, uh, it, it's, it's got to be difficult. Midnight Club games have been known to be difficult. They're very, um, they're not easy games, and they're definitely not a just pick up and go type game. You have to really practice them, you have to get used to them, and you have to uh, you have to put the time in um, to, to, to figure out what you're doing and really figure out where you, um, kind of figure out where you sit as far as the whole, um, as far as the whole, you know, as far as the game goes and as far as your skill within the game, you definitely have to, uh, to put in some practice. Now, in saying that, though, in saying that, a lot of games nowadays generally go for a easier approach. They generally go for a more um, approachable style, and I feel like Midnight Club has the option to do that, but if they were to maybe include uh, physics that were just like, the, just like the original games, but they also included, like, a second physics model, maybe like an easy mode or something, for people that were completely unfamiliar with the game and had never played one before. Now, with that being said, I feel like even having that as an option would upset a lot of Midnight Club purists. It would upset a lot of fans of the game because they're like, um, why do we have an easy mode switch? You know, this is supposed to be a hard game. This is supposed to be difficult. This is supposed to be, you know, this is supposed to be crazy. This is supposed to be difficult. This is supposed to be in your face. It's supposed to be something that you can be like, whoa, that's actually going to be hard. And, um, it, it, it kind of, you know... It's one of those things where when it boils down to it, you're like, man, this game is actually kind of difficult when you play it, if you have played the Midnight Club games, which I assume, if you're watching a video focused on Midnight Club, you have spent at least a little bit of time uh, with the games themselves. Now, like I said before, I'll be very uh, disappointed if this ends up being just like a mobile game with screenshots that someone photoshopped Xbox buttons onto, um, but that's really getting to a level of crazy as far as faking something. I mean, you would have to be an absolute madman lunatic um, to get, you know, to get that crazy with faking something. It's just one of those things where, like, 
are you really going to try that hard to fake something? I mean, and some people will. Some people will really try that hard to fake something. But it's like, damn, dude, if you're going to try that hard to fake something, I don't know what your, uh, I don't know what your freaking objective is. Um, we haven't really seen anything as far as release goes. I would assume that it's going to be... Since we haven't heard anything else, I mean, maybe we might see something at Gamescom if it is real, but the thing is, Rockstar, like, if, it, if this is something of their own, they like to do their own little announcements, you know what I'm saying? So, that might be all that this game ends up getting if, if, if it's real. Now, that's the thing. That's still a big if. We don't have anything official yet. So, um, if it does end up being official, I would expect a release of 2018. I don't think... Like, if it hasn't even been formally announced yet in 2017, like, and we're, you know, in August 2017 now, I personally highly doubt that we're going to see a, uh, that we're going to see any kind of, like, full release or reveal, um, of any kind slated for 2017. Um, I would be very surprised. I think it would probably be somewhere along the lines of probably holiday of 2018 is what I, it, like... Release date speculation wise, I'm gonna say holiday 2018 is what I'm gonna be, is what I would bet on if this is actually, you know, if this is actually real, if this is actually a full on thing. Because again, like I said, we haven't seen, we haven't seen a yes, but we haven't seen a no either. So until I see like a rock solid, you know, no is the answer, absolutely we're not doing this, then. I'm going to keep, you know, I'm going to keep thinking about it, and I'm going to keep, you know, hoping that there might be a chance that it could turn out to be real, because if it does, oh my god, man, if it does, I'd be so freaking pumped, I'd be so freaking pumped to have another Midnight Club, and I know you guys would be too, um, I know you guys would be too, because I think the thing that I wanted to, like, to talk about in this video is I wanted to kind of, like, sort of debunk the mobile game thing, uh, because I've heard multiple people say that, like, somebody mentioned it in my YouTube comments, but that's not the only person that I've heard it from, you know, I've, I've, that's not the only person that I've heard th this idea of a mobile game from, and to be honest, the whole idea of a mobile game, I think, is kind of, is kind of pointless in the grand scheme of Midnight Club, um, and also to do with the fact that it doesn't line up with the screenshots at all, uh, whatsoever, so, uh, and plus the quality of it, it would have to be a really freaking good mobile game to line up with the quality of that, so, uh, like the quality of those screenshots, so, it, it, it seems like the whole mobile game, um, rumor is pretty, like, unlikely, it's a pretty low chance and pretty unlikely, so I think that we should all stay away from that, um, stay away from seeing that as a thing, uh, because if we start seeing that as a thing, then it's gonna be like, well, you know, we saw this whole mobile game coming, and then it's like, nah. So, I think if the, if anything does happen, it will be console, um, and if it, if it really, you know, if it, if it, if it really ends up going through, it could be console and PC, maybe, hopefully, um, I think that would be, incredible if it was i think that would be absolutely incredible if that if that was a thing but um but i think for now um tentatively i think we can we can you know hope and 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 dream and pray for a 2018 possible release maybe a holiday 17 reveal maybe um but again like i said the 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 stuff around this game has been very weird kind of convoluted, and, uh, there's not a whole lot that's been coming out as of recently, so, um, I think I'm gonna, unless I see any big news for Midnight Club come out, I think I might lay off of the Midnight Club news for a little bit, a little while, um, I mean, I just wanted to check in with you guys on an update, because I know I've been getting a lot of questions about it, and there were a couple of new little things, a couple of new little speculations, uh, within the community, nothing crazy, nothing rock solid, of course, yet, but, um, just really right now still hoping uh, to see it as a release uh, at some point because I want that game so bad. But if you guys did enjoy this video uh, covering the news on the new Midnight Club game, I know there wasn't really that much news in this video. It was more about like uh, debunking a couple of myths and just talking about the game. Um, but 
Again, hope y'all did enjoy. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comments down below what y'all thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time. And also, if you want to keep up with me on my social media, uh, you can check out my Twitter, my Instagram, and my Facebook page in the description box below. All the links are down there for you guys to check out. But again, hope y'all did enjoy. I'll see you guys next time. Talk to you guys later.